What's going on, Browns fans? Today we are bringing you a quick update on a big situation that is developing. Um, today we'd usually be bringing you some Cavs news, but today I'm going to let Jeff handle the intro to this one because this is his guy, this mm -hmm. is his player, and so I'm going to handle this uh, this intro. Yeah, what's up, guys? I think this is pretty funny because if you have been on Twitter, if you did watch the Cincinnati game, Wyatt Teller comes across, pulls on this massive diving block for the Nick Chubb 70-yard run, and Andrew Barry said, that's all I need to see. Per Kimberly A. Martin on Twitter, a four-year deal for $55 to $60 million extension for Wyatt Teller, keeping him around until 2025 in a Browns uniform. I believe he is 27. So, you know, 31, 32 is getting pretty old for a, a, a guard for sure in the National Football League. So keeping him here when in four years he'll be that age, you know, for the majority of his career, $28 million in guarantees, which it sounds like is high for a lineman. With the cap space going up, it's interesting. But you see, yeah. you know, Brandon Scherf is on a one-year deal for $18 million. Brandon Brooks is making 14 million. Zach Martin is making 14 million. So with the 50 million or the 60 million at the top, that's only 15 million a year for Wyatt Teller. I think it's a great move. And like you said, Justin, one of my favorite players. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's great. Obviously he's been fantastic since we brought Bill Callahan in and um, you know, it was very weird because, you know, last year he was kind of an unknown quantity coming in uh, mm -hmm. the year before that we struggled with the offensive line. He was a part of the team and didn't really have a role. That was the Freddie kitchens year. And, you know, we brought Kevin Stefanski in, we brought Bill Callahan in and he has been, you know, when he's healthy, he has been probably, you know, right next to Joel Batonio in my mind has been the best offensive player um, the most consistent offensive player, along with, you know, another guy that got signed a contract this year, Nick Chubb, which seems to be the, um, you know, the mentality of Andrew Barry kind of, you know, paying out the guys that have been consistently good and, mm -hmm. you know, getting them for, you know, not top dollar, but for, you know, right around, you know, a team team friendly kind of top dollar deal, which I think has been fantastic. Obviously, uh, four years, 15 million is great when you, you know, compared to the rest of the offensive line, obviously, um, Joel, you know, he signed his deal as a six year and was way earlier on when the cap was much lower. So, um, there's that, but the Conklin deal obviously was three years, 42. I think that's the next closest, which is almost like 14 million a year, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, honestly, pretty good money. Um, you know, we did get rid of OBJ, which, you know, um, there will be money uh, saved there for in the future, which I believe is probably is going to go to Wyatt Teller at this point. And uh, very interesting. Uh, and, you know, it's it's great that they're get, kind of getting that core set for the future. Yeah, got a lot of money in the offensive and defensive line, but I think that's a, the name of the game for modern yeah. football. Make sure that your quarterback is comfortable. Make sure that the other team's quarterback is uncomfortable, and I really like that play. Andrew Barry's philosophy in a box for these extensions and for the OBJ situation, not to take away anything from the Wyatt Teller deal, but think about the extensions. Nick Chubb, somebody overlooked coming out of college. You know, he was considered the third back in that Georgia tandem over there. Second rounder, we'll extend him. Hard working dude, never says anything. We get Wyatt Teller from the Bills for basically nothing for a bag of chips. Overlooked by the Bills, they want to dump him, and he's he's done nothing but love this community, work hard, you know, really give us that the you know the working mentality that Northeastern Ohio Ohio's Ohioers. That's not even a word, but people from Northeast Ohio, you know, really do display that they work hard and they're not going to say anything and they're going to earn everything. So love Andrew Barry's philosophy, and that's all I got. Yeah, I mean, he did a great job. And, you know, these are all, for the most part, guys that we're talking about extensions wise uh, are John Dorsey guys that were brought in. But uh, he has done a great job to just mend that fence and make it, you know, Cleveland Browns guys instead. So love everything that we got here. Um, we will keep you guys updated if anything changes. If anyone else gets a contract extension, don't think that'll be happening for a while, but great stuff to have Wyatt here for the next couple of years. So with that being said, if you guys made it through this video, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a like on the video, leave a comment on your thoughts for the contract extension, Wyatt Teller in general. And with that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.